Hello, this is Anthony from SonicGoodness.com, and this is a uh, tutorial slash walkthrough slash something uh, meant to inspire you. Since Reason 6.5 has come out, we have all these new rack extensions. Some of them are getting some love and some of them aren't, and I thought I'd go ahead and do a little video of something that I found particularly useful for the days that I am being musically lazy. This isn't one of those days, but I tried it last week and it worked out. The device in question is the Sugar Bites Slice Arranger. Now, everybody loves doing their little beat work, you know, uh, putting it on a beat and getting something new rhythmically. Um, yeah, that's just a beat out of the um, factory sound bank. We've all heard it at least once. And this is a guitar accompaniment for it. Lame, right? Yes, uh, so acoustic strummy. Oops, that's not really playing. Um, let's uh, do that. Oh, look. Even coming out of one speaker. Yeah. Plain old uh, acoustic strummy line. And then you have the pentatonic walk-up. Great. And electric guitar noise. Okay, good. And a bass guitar. All very bland, uh, very repetitive, uh, very normal sounding. So what I'm going to do is put in a slice arranger on my acoustic strummy line. Sounds like... Nothing different, right? Because uh, the dry wet knob, right? Okay, so what we have here control-wise. Let's think in complete thoughts here. Pattern, 1 to 50. Unique patterns all the way around. Some of them are just rhythmic changes. Some of them have a... A pitch up or a pitch down in them and then uh, some have reverses and all that sort of neat stuff. Um, I have read the manual but it's been a week and I couldn't actually tell you what this does other than it's set to normal versus re-record. These fill one and fill two or fill two and fill one depending on which direction your mouse is going at the time. They do exactly what you would think they would do. They Mix up the slices, shorten them, make them happier, faster, uh, more attention deficit disorder to uh, give you the sense of a fill in the uh, slice arranging. Then you have the decay. The longer the decay is set, the uh, longer the slice. The shorter the decay, then the more uh, staccato, if you will, the slice will be. All right, so uh, let me uh, pause this for just a second. I have a kid asking for something. Okay, and we should be back. Uh, pardon the interruption. I hope it didn't bother you too much. And then you have this. This is the uh, bar versus two bars. Basically, this will help. Um, it'll tell it how much to dice up, I think is how this works. If you set it to two bars, you'll notice that your phrasing is a little bit more intact. Um, yeah. So, and then you have a dry wet knob. And for these purposes, it's going to be all the way wet or all the way dry. Yeah. All right. So let's just try out pattern one here just to show you what I'm talking about. Just to remind you, the uh, ghetto guitar sounds like... And I can hear you falling asleep from here. Okay, so putting this joker back on. Yeah, it's pretty worthless, right? And showing you the difference between bar and bar two, two bars rather. You see how it keeps a little bit more of the phrase um, in the slice. You know, you can actually discern a little bit more of it on this material, at least. Those don't sound particularly great, so let's try out a different pattern. 
just to see how it behaves. I like that one, okay? Much more interesting than my strumming patterns because I have no rhythm whatsoever. Okay, what I'm going to do is create an audio track over this way. And I'm going to set the initial one as a recording source. Happy, happy. My audio input will now be the left of my recording source that I just set. Great. Yeah, fantastic. All right, we're set to record, so let's just um, have a play with it. And this time I'll modulate the... Uh, hey, modulation. Everybody's got a copy of Pulsar Dual LFO, right? Let's hook this thing up to the fill. Hmm, this is going to be fun. I'm going to set it to the 4-bit uh, uh, little dilly bob step pattern, and I'm going to set this to... How many bars we got here? One, two, three, four. So that would have been uh, 16 by 4. That'll work. And turn this up a bit. And just see what happens. Hmm. There it is. Hello, Glitch. All right, I like it. So now I can take this and hold on to it. And I can find another pattern. Let's uh, go back and turn this off just for the time being. Yeah, that'll drive you nuts. Okay, number 10. <laughs> the reverse stuff is fun. I like that. Okay, number 11. Okay, we'll keep this one just for the sake of getting on with it. I'm going to tweak this fill knob again, and let's go. I love it. All right, so wonderful. Now I'm going to um, duplicate this junk and turn you off and you guys both on. And we're going to mix this up and set you left and right. Hmm. And this, my friends, is why we use reason. And if you don't, I'm sure that there's a way that you could come up with this. But man, you're not playing anything. You have no musical talent. I never claimed to. But I did just take, uh... This. And turn it into that with a bass guitar and the drum kit so again this has just been a bit of a little uh, quick tip and uh Dealy Bob for the uh, Sugar Bites Slice Arranger. Um, you know, feed it some audio that's not drums. That's the point. Have a good time with it, and uh, you never know what you'll come up with. And we'll um, maybe see you for another video sometime. Be good.